A Jewish congregant goes to his rabbi and says, Rabbi, my youngest son just came home from college for winter break, and he announced to the family that he had converted to Christianity. And rabbi needs some advice. And the rabbi says, funny you should come to me. I don't tell many people this story, but I have four sons. And many years ago, one of my sons, my oldest son, had gone off on a trip. He came back and announced to the family that he had converted to Christianity. And the congregant says, Rabbi, I had no idea. He says, I don't tell many people that, but so Rabbi, what did you do? And he says, what could I do? I'm a rabbi, who could I turn to? I had to turn to the Almighty. Well, what did God say, Rabbi? God said, funny you should come to me because I had a son. <laughs> My friends, we're gonna talk about conversion, but not religious conversion. We're gonna talk about business conversion. Now we know that Islam and Christianity have a lot of members. They're really good at conversion. But there are a lot of little businesses that are not good at converting people who don't know about their product or service into prospects. And they're certainly not good about converting prospects into customers. It's all about moving your prospects or your leads down the sales funnel. You might find somebody who's never heard of you and you get an email address from them and or get them to follow you on your social media. That is a form of conversion. But just getting 100,000 views on your TikTok doesn't automatically mean more business. It just means they're part of that sales funnel. So I want you to think of ways that you can continue to connect with fans and prospects and people who've met you before, people who've never heard of your product or service, and engaging with them in a way that brings them down the sales funnel. It might be that they show up at your business or on your website and they don't know what the next steps are. That is something that's blocking conversion. They land there and so what? What's the next step? Are you inviting them to call you? Are you inviting them for a free evaluation? Are you inviting them to sit down and get some advice from you? All these things are forms of getting people to convert. Those of you who are football fans, you know that if somebody scores a touchdown, the extra point is called a conversion. So think about conversion as scoring points. It doesn't mean that you have to win the game every single time you convert. It just means that you're scoring points, you're advancing the ball in a way that's putting you ahead of the competition. So when you think of A, B, C, forget always be closing, I want you to think of always be converting.